Hi friends, my name is Mia. I'm a postgraduate student in Melbourne, Australia. This year I'm working as an English teacher in Vietnam. In my YouTube channel, I make videos about education, social issues and mental health. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a lesson plan with Notion. So before you decided to use this lesson plan template for your class and for your students, I just want to tell you this. This lesson plan is influenced by the scaffolding teaching methodologies and it is strongly influenced by the CELTA certificate by Cambridge University, which I learned in 2019. The other reason why I want my lesson plan as specific as possible or as detailed as possible is because I believe planning is thinking in training and whenever I plan a lesson I proactively engage to the thought and to future predictions of what is going on in my class and how this lesson or this knowledge could be understood from my students perspective and how can I as a coach as an instructor as a mediator can translate this knowledge to the learners who never or barely knew about this concept before. Okay, let's get started. So a completed lesson plan would look something like this. Um, this is a lesson plan of my IELTS teaching for Unit 5. Um, so as you can see, I include my lesson outcomes, my class procedure, um, my printed lessons table or the vocabulary table or what kind of table I'm going to teach. Um, and I will follow this lesson plan to teach um, for my class or someone uh, can pick my lesson plan um, use it to teach my students if I couldn't make it to my class um, and the lesson plan um, the unfinished lesson plan uh, would look something like this so I pre-made the template for myself um, so I include the most important tasks first lesson outcome class procedures uh, the database the lessons uh, table and the language and also if you teach English um, for a specific purpose like for an IELTS test or English for business you can include another task here or if you teach functional language you can really include another task here as well so let's start from scratch I will create a, a page let's say a page uh, I would say lesson template Right. So for every lesson plans, I will, I always start with the two important questions. The first one is what are my goals for, what are my goals for this class, and what's or which steps should I take uh, in order to achieve my goals, or what is my procedures. Okay, so um, keep these questions in mind. So I will start first. Questions one. Uh, let me change into English. Okay. What are my goals for this lessons and this step? Oh, so what I say, what is my The first lessons, what are my goals for this lessons? This question is specific for my students. What do I want my student to learn? How do my students learn it? And what, is, what are the outcomes do I and my students want to achieve after my lessons? Uh, and what is the procedures is how can I break um, the big lessons, the big lesson into bite-sized chunks so that I can teach and my students can learn. Okay. So I will start with the outcome first. Um, Let's say let's an outcomes, and then I would say class lesson. Um, and for teaching English, you have to teach vocabulary, and you also have to teach um language, which is grammar or functional language, uh, whatever target language it is. And the reason why I have to create another hotline or heading for it is because the way of teaching those language skill and vocabularies are very different from the lesson outcomes um say language and like i said before if you teach 
list for um, specific purpose you can create a different you know database for that let's say test skill because it is IELTS so I will start with the lesson outcomes first uh, let's say um, I put here outcome one outcome two all right uh, for class procedures I will create it a table in line like this and I would say this um, class so so my class procedures will follow the um, lesson plan of the Zelta certificate uh, but also include some of the elements that I learned in secondary teachings which I found pretty helpful so as you can see here in my um, lesson pre-made lesson plan you can say you can see the stage and objectivities um, time interactions teachers activity student activities resources if i have and differentiation and i will explain it um uh in details below so uh the first one is state and objectivities i change it to number because i want to change it into term um, say interaction. The interaction is also important because um, you, you kind of imagine who are in charge of this task. Um, this one teachers activity, and then we also have students activities. T -O -T. Oops, blues spelling. Okay, I should be blue as well. Um, resources. Um, let's say I I will I will include text because sometimes we need whiteboard, a uh, PowerPoint, or sometimes we need a link, so it's easier for us to do that. Uh, resources. Um, differentiation. So I want to talk a little bit about differentiations. Uh, it will be dif different from case by case. So if you teach a class, um, differentiation would be how you design your lesson for different students so that everyone can learn. And your goal is to achieve an inclusive classroom and an inclusive lesson. But if you teach one-on-one, um, -on -one, which means you teach only one student or a tutorial or private private group and the student learn similar learning styles together this is where you can keep in mind how your learner learn and what is their learning style and how quick or slow they are in order to um, understand a lessons um, so the gist of differentiation is basically um, to create an inclusive lesson for for different learners uh, and the final one, I forget the final one. The final one is add some notes. You can create some notes. All right. Um, go. Okay, easy. And then for uh, language, I think you forgot to create vocab. So for the vocabulary table is also a database. Um, create a table in line. Say on. Okay. So for me, the way I teach vocabulary is I follow the CELTA plan. So basically, the first thing that I do is the vocabulary item. That I want to teach. Uh, the second part is the part of speech of the vocabulary, and for this part, I choose select and 
instead of multi-select because one word or one vocabulary or lessons only have one part of speech. Um, that that is the way I teach for my student because if I overcomplicated that, because um, I know some some words in English can be um, a noun, can be a verb at the same time, and they look kind of similar, but the meanings are different, and also sometimes the pronunciation is very different from one another. So that's why I created select instead of instead of multi select, and also I created pronunciation which is where I include the IPA uh, version of the word um, and then uh, definition, sorry, analysis meaning which is analysis method which is the way I um, analysis this vocabulary for my student whether I use it for as speeches or situations or role plays uh, for students to understand or know the word before before they, they get the meaning of that. And after the analysis method is the meaning of the word. And the final one is concept checking question. Which I use CCQ. Uh, this is also very important because it's make sure that the student understand the words that you are teaching for them. Uh, so basically, this is how I, the step that I follow to teach uh, vocabulary in my English lesson plan. And then following that is language skill or language, the target language that you want to teach the student. So for language, I also create a database, um, a table in line. For the first Column, I have say target language. And then the next one is test. Um, I call it pulling language from the text, which means um, which part of the text, either it's listening or reading, that I pull in the language that I want to teach from. The second one is. Um, analysis method the other one is meaning one is form and the final one is concept checking questions all right the other one that I also sometimes include in my lesson plan is intonations. I also want to say sentence. Uh, Stressions. This because when you when you teach grammar, especially for functional language, um, let's say questions, for example. Uh, you stress on different words, especially you stress on keys word and this is sometimes so something I feel important when I teach um, students in the class as well. So I include here. Alright, so basically that's it. Alright, I hope you find this video helpful. Please follow my channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!